Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, my name is Coolboy Corporate, and I'm going to be making a series of videos which include uh, offline, online gameplay, uh, reviews of characters, and stuff like that. And I'm going to have them in, uh, in, in episodes. And to begin with, uh, I recorded a couple of matches that I had online recently. Um, I got the game not too long ago, about a month after release date, so I'm still learning a lot of things. And my I chose a, t a team of uh, Deadpool, Doctor Doom, and Akuma. You know, after watching a lot of the tournaments and and seeing uh, what's effective and what people are winning with, uh, I came to the conclusion myself that Deadpool, I believe, he is an underrated character. And um, on paper, I figured out he has opportunities but until I actually take it further and, and start playing more and more people uh, then will I only be able to realize whether that's true or not and to begin with I have my team and it's in that exact order too so it would be Deadpool, Doctor Doom and Akuma and the first match uh, I recorded here playing was uh, an Arthur Scroll and Taskmaster Now immediately when when I see there are, there's no Ryu, there's no Kuma, there's no Iron Man who has a hyper combo that's a complete projectile, my team should immediately have a type of advantage just because the keep away between Dr. Doom's plasma beam and Deadpool's bullets uh, are extremely effective and I attempt to pull this off against Arthur who has extremely well projectile, has, sorry, has an extremely well projectile game. Um, I can Deadpool. Luckily, he could aim in all three directions when he's when he's jumping in the sky, whether he's on the ground or in the sky. And Deadpool, if I didn't have Doctor Doom with me, I wouldn't. My Arthur would completely destroy uh, the projectile game, only because um, bullets do not eat uh, as much as plasmas do. And because of that, then I have the opportunity to, to overcome all the, the spears and, and, and daggers he's throwing around. Um, little does do people know, though, if you fully block just a bullet, the bullets of Deadpool and, and Doctor Doom, you're taking about 80 damage, and that's just off chip. And you know, eventually, people don't seem to, to pay attention to it because they think it's. I guess maybe just because you get some fly up flown across the screen and you start having to focus on something else. But now that scrolls in, um, as of right now, I haven't really seen uh, if 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 a, if a super scroll player doesn't have good timing or unexpected timing of of uh, the command throws, then I always see a scroll having a hard time because getting lucky meteor strikes in is not reliable I mean slowly slowly as you keep continuing to play more and more serious players you're gonna slowly recognize that that's not reliable at all and um, as you can see there's, there's, there's a lot of lag online right now the net code that, that Capcom has right now is a disaster I mean, it takes it takes a good 20 minutes to find a match with a reliable connection and this was uh, currently the best one that I could find. Um, and right here, uh, I don't think he was able to really get around because I didn't even switch out of Deadpool, so he didn't exactly get around the bullet stream and, and all the projectiles. Um, there's no point to change what you're doing if it's working. And I say that because I take the same approach when I'm playing any person, any character, regardless of who it is. Because being the person who's throwing around the projectiles is the easiest type of gameplay you can have. And if you have good good fighting with it, and you have good uh, good inputs, then you know, you don't have that much to worry about. It's just your reaction time. And I'm playing a, a Dante, Ryu, and, and Hulk, and all three characters I really like. Uh, each each of the each of each of my opponents uh, members have have decent you know except for Dante they have decent life um, and they also have heavy uh, damage outputs I mean we've all seen the, the, the kind of damage that, that Dante could do um, I missed my hyper combo there uh, lucky for him it would it would have killed him but 
I happened to miss this and I tried to chip him up with the grenade but uh, my grenade didn't go far enough and now, I, now I'm risking Dante catching a lot of life and I was considering should I, should I tag out Hulk or should I not and I just, I, I'm like you know what, um, I don't see, I didn't see a Dante a threat at all, what it was and uh, I just decided I'm going to try and build meter and fight Hulk instead. I'm an old, I'm an old Marvel vs. Capcom, Marvel vs. Street, Street, Street Fighter player, and every game I have never had as many, I've never had problems against large characters. I've always had the issues against small characters, regardless of who or what was playing. And yes, I just got hit by three hypers, uh, and at this point I'm like, okay, let me just stop screwing around. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, like I was saying. Uh, you know, basically, playing the older Marvel's Capcom games is allowing me to accelerate like really fast in learning this game because all big characters I've played, um, I would I, I want to see Sentinel every day compared to Am Amaratsu. I would see Hulk, Dormammu. I would see Thor. I want to see all those characters. I don't want to see Amaratsu. I don't want to see Wolf or uh, Wolverine uh, simply because. With low hitboxes and almost any character can do has so much possibilities, um, you know, it's, it's, they make it really difficult. But uh, the beginning of this video, the audio for probably about half the fight is a little bit lagged, so just just bear with me for like the first minute of it. But it, it catches up uh, throughout the throughout the video, and um, I think this game will now allow almost any, any right team put together to beat almost any style, which is a good thing. So, like me who had, who used to have trouble, a lot of trouble with, with smaller characters, can, I mean, it's probably going to get much easier now. Um, so I'm playing Sentinel, I'm playing Hulk, and like another Taskmaster, uh, lately I've been seeing Taskmaster all day. Um, he, he's got a lot of damage on him, and he's got a, a right amount of health, so... He's one of the safest characters in the game, pretty much. Um, and right there, I completely miss my 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 hyper, and I, I eat some of the Sentinel drones. Um, at this point, I know Sentinel's health can go down quite fast, and I'm just trying to play a lame game here. And I burn that meter just to just to spring him a little bit because I was lucky that he got a little desperate. Um, and he wasted his, his, his uh, X Factor when he had three characters. Um, I don't agree with that, but I guess um, Sentinel was the main part of his game because I was eating a lot of chip damage with him on there. Um, with Taskmaster, trying to attack him, you gotta feel a little worried. And right there I got lucky. I don't know what he was trying to do, but I mean, if you eat, a, if you, I, I mean, any any real hit can lead to a, a really damaging combo from Taskmaster, so you got to be careful. And I was lucky that he dropped that, or else Deadpool guaranteed would have been finished. Um, and luckily, Deadpool has a second jump, and you can go straight into that. Um, and right here, I'm like, okay, because Hulk uh, or Hagger or Tron can has such a hard time getting in on. On Deadpool, I'm just, I mean, keep an eye on the chip damage when it comes to this. And right there, I ate it hard because um, I was spamming a little too much. But I wasted that meter because I'm just trying to chip and continue to chip. And I know he doesn't have much he can do about it. Um, however, he could, he should still be super jumping. Um, that is the best alternative to any real character to, to fight a, a chip damage match. But uh, I was a little confused after this point because I mean I know he didn't have X Factor, but he didn't have to disconnect. Um, I want to end the this this. I'm gonna <laughs> basically say uh, after this match he disconnected. I went to search for another player match, and it happened to be him again. And then he disconnected right before the match even started. But um, that concludes the first uh, the first.
the first episode of all this. Uh, I'm going to come right back with a second episode to continue off. And hopefully I get better and better and can be able to show uh, new and more things. So uh, search for the second video after this and I'll see you guys later. Thanks.